I want to talk to you today about this uh, new backpack I just bought. I'm going to go on a trip and I was looking for something that would be ideal for me to, to bring because I've uh, become somewhat of a minimalist in my photography when I travel especially. I like to carry a smaller bag. I like to carry less gear with me and I was looking for something that would just be, be a good all-around bag for me to carry uh, when I go to Europe to carry when I'm going around town and to carry them in the airport and bring all the things that I need onto the airplane or when I'm just walking around town and I I did a lot of research looked at a lot of different bags and this is the one that I decided on and I really like this bag a lot so we're just go ahead and uh, get into it and uh, and I'll talk to you about some of the features and show you what what I can put in it and uh, you decide whether you, you like it or not but uh, this is called a low pro BP 150 fast pack aw2 and the aw stands for all weather and i'll talk to you about that as we go through the uh review and, and why it's called an all weather bag but first of all i'll show you how it looks on my back that's very important i'm uh five foot nine 170 pounds kind of give you an idea of my uh my height my girth and this is how it fits on me on my back and feels really good. It's comfortable. It's got nice straps. It's got a, uh, a sternum strap right here. And it also has a waist strap. Let's see if I can get back for enough that you can put on to get, give you more stability if you're running through the airport, riding a bike or whatever. It gives you waist straps so and really holds it on there nice and tight. You can Tighten either one of these up. You can adjust all the, the backpack straps really nicely. It's pretty comfortable. I like it. You know, it feels pretty good. So that's how it looks on me and how it uh, how it fits. And here is now. Let's talk about what you can put in this bag and the different compartments that it has. It's really great. So start out with where the camera goes, okay? Camera goes in here and it has uh, two ways to get into this camera compartment. The first one is you just zip it right here and you pull your camera out. This is a Sony A6500 with an 85 millimeter lens on it and I just stick my uh, Peak Design strap right on top of my camera when it's in there. So that's how you just pull your camera out. And that's that's one way to get into the camera bag. And then the other way is pretty much the same thing only more is you have these uh, two straps right here that you pop off that covers this and then the zippers go all the way over and it opens you up to the bag as far as how everything that you can put in there. Now right now I have my Sony A6500. I have a Sigma 30mm 1.4. I have a Sony 10 to 18mm. And I have the Sony 18 to 135mm in the camera compartment. So that's pretty cool. I got a camera with a lens on it and three other lenses. And also up here, in this little flat compartment, I got a little uh, Godox uh, TT350 flash that I carry with me. I like these little flash for just uh, everyday use. Uh, I, could, I could fit something else in that compartment too. So there's more space in here yet. So anyway, that's that's uh, what fits in the camera compartment and what I put in the camera compartment. And I'm not going to put all that stuff back in right now. Uh, okay, also something I noticed I saw a few people do a review on this bag, and they don't talk about this right here, which is another pocket that you have right here, okay, which is right on the front of this, which is really kind of cool. But what I did, what I'm going to do is I put my, once I'm done with my passport, getting through checking in and everything, I put my passport in there, and maybe my wallet, and then you can close this up, and then when you clip this up, it just gives you a little extra layer of uh, security, so somebody isn't going to try to pull that out of your bag. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, okay, it also has kind of like a, a, a drop pouch here. You know, you're going through uh, security in the airport, you can throw your wallet in, your keys, your 
pop off your watch, throw your watch in there. You know, you only need, just need to get stuff out of your pockets when you go through security. Okay, and then here, it has this top storage compartment, which is really cool, which I really like. I have my, uh, my Kindle in there. I have a, uh, I have a um, wireless trigger in there. I have a, a, a portable charger in there. Um, I got my iPhone earbuds, my Apple Pencil. Uh, it's got a key bob. I put my keys on. Uh, it's got these two little compartments right here. Uh, I got some. Uh, I got this is my uh, my SD SD card reader for my iPad. Okay, and just some other odds and ends in here, pens and stuff like that, and uh, so. All that stuff. It's really pretty cool. Really pretty neat. Really pretty spacious. I could put a lot more. I could put more stuff in there yet. Okay. So that's that. Okay. Then also, on the side here, you have this compartment for to put your uh, computer type devices, and it has a. Um, you can see this. It has an independent sleeve for your iPad. So that it hangs, it goes right in, it goes, it's a dedicated sleeve just for the iPad. And I put my iPad in there. And then it also, on the other side of that, you have a space for, uh, I think it's, it's an 11, you can only put up to an 11 inch um, computer in here, a laptop computer in here. You can't put, I tried to put my 13 inch uh, MacBook Air and it wouldn't fit. But I'm not worried about that because I'm not actually bringing my MacBook Air on vacation this or uh, to Europe this year. I'm not going on vacation, but going on a trip to Europe this year because I'm going to do all my editing and downloading onto my iPad using an SD card and using uh, Lightroom Mobile. And I did a video on that and uh, basically I think it was titled Leave Your Laptop Home. So if you're interested in finding out how I'm going to do that, go ahead and watch that video. But uh, yeah, so that's all I'm bringing is my iPad. So that, that's perfect for me. I don't need a space for, for a, a, a laptop. And the, the reason I want to leave the laptop behind. And the same reason I got this bag is because I'm trying to uh, to prune down as much stuff as I can so I can travel as light as possible and make my traveling as pleasurable as possible by not having to carry a lot of gear. So, oh, and one more thing. The reason this is called an all-weather bag is because right under here it has this bag that's attached to the bag so you can't lose it. And this will go over the front of the bag. And I have never tried to put it on, so let's see how I do. This goes over the, the bag, like dog had to say. Goes over the bag like this. There you go. Now you're waterproof. So all your gear is uh, protected from the rain if you get caught in a rainstorm. And that has happened to me. Last year, I was in uh, a couple of years ago, I was in Warsaw, Poland, and it poured, and boy, did I get wet, and I was really worried about my gear. I just had it in a regular backpack. This, this goes underneath here, pushes in there like that. You can get it quite in the way it was to begin with. But anyway, so this is the this is the Low Pro Fast Pack 150 All Weather Bag. I'm really excited about it. I really like it. Uh, I've been looking for something like this for a long time and uh, I bought a bunch of different bags and none of them quite fit what I was looking for but this one really fits the bill. So I highly recommend it and uh, if you're looking for something that's small and uh, and you don't want to carry a lot of gear with you but just enough, I mean four, what I got four lenses and a camera and all, the, all that other gear I showed you and it still has more room. Oh, two more things I almost forgot. We have a, uh, uh, it has, also has a nice uh, little compartment here to put your water bottle in or if you want to it has a strap right here if you want to put a uh, tripod in here okay and the other thing that I almost forgot is that it has these two straps right here that come out of here or if you're going to if you want to strap this let me see onto a uh, onto a bag if you're going through the airport on your way to check in or whatever, whoop. it'll strap on like this. Yeah. 
Here we go. Now it's strapped on your on your bag like that. So you can uh, run it through the airport like that if you want to. This will fit under your seat, so if you want to bring this on as a personal item and you want to bring a carry-on bag too, you can do that. I'm just, uh, this is all I'm bringing on. I don't bring carry-on bags on the air, airplane. But, yeah, so that's that. So anyway, uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uh, going to be going to Europe in about a week, and I'm going to be doing some more videos about travel photography and my experiences there. So thanks for watching.